Hello, Floss Tube. This is Heidi, the Potty Mouse Stitcher, coming back. It's been a couple weeks or longer uh, <laughs> since my last video. And um, if you watched the last video, you know that I went home to Ohio and uh, had a little sister trip. Met up with my sister Holly and visited with my mom and some cousins and even caught up with a friend of mine from high school. Uh, it was great to see him after a long time, 20 Five years or so since the last time I saw him which wasn't in high school so yeah so much for living the dream with the age there anyways uh, it was good to see everybody <laughs> um, had a great trip and uh, it, it got a lot of stitching done I did get a project bag done that I'll show you uh, kind of a 1.5 2.0 version of uh, the pattern that I had from Tiger Lily Studio. So, you know how it is. You start with one thing and look what you come up with. Anyway, um, I want to start out by saying a huge, huge thank you to Garand Stitchery, uh, Floss Tube and Stitchery. They have an online store. Uh, at least a one or two videos ago, they shouted me out, said some really nice things. Um, can't thank them enough. That was very kind of them. Uh, they, uh, I guess they're a little confused by my name, the Potty Mouth Stitcher. Well, like I said, it's, it's, do I cuss a lot in real life? Mostly at work. Funny how that brings that out. <laughs> but, uh, trying to keep it clean here because, you know, I can do better. <laughs> so, just wanted y'all to be warned in case it did slip on out, but I'm trying to be a good girl. It happens. Here's proof. Uh, so, uh, if anyone's ever seen Garan Stitchery, or if they have not, by all means, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. Uh, they, they, they have all kinds of stuff going. They have, if you go onto their website, GaranStitchery.com, they have monthly clubs, floss clubs. Uh, I think they just recently started a, a linen club with uh, Fox and Rabbit. Um all kinds of stuff. They have a retreat coming up in Fort Lauderdale in May. I think it's, yeah, I wrote it down, 18th through the 21st in Fort Lauderdale called Stitching in the Wild. Uh, that looks like a lot of fun. I wish I wasn't working that week or I'd have signed up for that one. <laughs> That's close enough. I could, I could get there. Maybe next year I'll have to see if they, assuming they do it yearly. I hope so. Um, they make gorgeous bags, project bags, uh, then they have so many cool things on their site. Trust me, you'll find something to buy. <laughs> Go check them out, Grand Stitchery. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um, so for my trip home, again, I've forgotten. It's been at least two weeks ago now. Um, on the way there, I stopped in St. Albans, West Virginia. It was the best drive home. I have ever had. Let me just tell you. <laughs> so I stayed, stopped at St. Almond's and that was the Village Sampler cross-stitch store. What a cute little town. I mean, it's just, I've driven past the area several times before. had no idea that was, this was tucked back in there. So if you're anywhere near it, it's kind of just outside of Charleston, West Virginia, not far. Uh, go check them out. They're totally worth the trip. I didn't take any pictures because I suck. Uh, and I, I knew I was already behind because when I left the house and I'm driving to Christiansburg, which for my house is like 20 minutes. So Christiansburg, Blacksburg, that's where Virginia Tech is. Not far, but <laughs> here I am. I'm like, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Oh, crap. It was only my killer 1803 Ohio basket stitching basket with all my stitching stuff in it. I'm an idiot. Anyways, so I called my wonderful husband who happened to be off work that day. Thank God. And he brought it to me. <laughs> we met half, well, actually he met me a good old Cracker Barrel. So I got a nice tea for the road. And <laughs> so it put me behind as usual. And uh, so I was behind the whole trip. Got into a little bit of traffic. Wasn't bad. Can't complain. Anyways. St. Albans, Village Sampler, totally awesome store, didn't take pictures, place is cram-packed with all kinds of goodness, um, I was probably in there an hour, I kind of kind of gave myself an hour in the two stores I stopped in because otherwise it would get really dangerous, uh, <laughs> um, uh, they had all kinds of stuff 
from market and more stuff coming in even as I stood there. <laughs> so and they do a great job of uh, helping you with anything. They were very kind, very nice. Had a huge group of ladies there already, you know, having their lunch and stitching it up. It was great. <laughs> so they were, you can tell it's an active store. That was great to see. I did a serious amount of damage there that I'll show you later. And uh, from there, I kind of wound my way up through um, Southern Ohio into Columbus. And just as I was coming into Columbus, it was a pretty impressive storm. So uh, made it fun. Now, I went to Ohio State back in the day, so it was, uh, uh, you know, familiar with the area, but it was very interesting. Oh, my lousy, you know, you're driving by on, what was it, 270, going up 315 to the store. It was Cross My Heart was the name of the store in Columbus that I went to. And I drove past Ohio State, and that hospital is adding on a monster Edition. I was I almost wrecked the car looking at that thing, you know, so you, you can't miss the hospital boom It's like on the You know the 270 and the river kind of splits the campus and not really in half But cuts it in half a little bit and the hospital complex is right there and you know and Then there's a bunch of other little stuff and then boom. There's the stadium. So it's all right there. You can see it If you're an Ohio State fan, that's a good thing, right? Those of you that aren't yeah, well, you can relate to whoever you you cheer for <laughs> so, uh, uh, it was impressive, impressive. God bless them, uh, staffing that thing. We're at, we're adding a tower of our own and a tiny little Roanoke in compared or in comparison. And I'm telling you, you just look at it every day as it grows and you're like, <sighs> anyways, go to school, be nurses and RTs and PAs and MDs, <laughs> radiology techs everything we need them anyways i digress um so we got to uh columbus uh just as there's a little bit of a break in the rain because it was coming down in buckets went in to cross my heart right at four o'clock they close at five so they were probably like awesome but i was out just before five <laughs> they were wonderful they had all kinds of goodies too nice nice store again i wasn't didn't take any pictures because I didn't have time. I was too sh selfish. I was going to shop. Um, did some damage there. Got a fair amount of linen there. I had a great... Um, I can't... Words are failing me. Uh, had all kinds of linen. Put it that way. <laughs> all kinds of stuff to choose from. Huge amount of floss. Um, did some fair damage there too that I'll show you later. <laughs> um... Absolutely. Uh, it's great. Wonderful. And then another hour, because of, of course I'm leaving there at five, so I'm hitting traffic, urban sprawl. Uh, yeah, probably added another 30 minutes to the trip, but that's all right. It's totally worth it. Got home. had a wonderful time. Um, anyways, so what did we do? Pretty much launched right into showing mom the uh, project bag pattern I came up with. And of course I don't have it with me, but... Uh, the, it was Tiger Lily's design that you can purchase her PDF for that, for her super amazing pattern keepers. So it kind of folds over and on one side is the, um, like all the nice little pockets for your DMC bobbins. On the other side, it has a pocket underneath as well as a vinyl zipper area for your, for your linen thread, whatever. Well, some thread, I guess. Anyways. Whatever you wanted it to be for, right? So talking to mom, she's like, uh, do you use a lot of the bobbin stuff? I would think that'd be hard to get it out, in and out. And, um, you know, wise woman with her fingers that <laughs> don't work as well as they used to. I'm like, yeah, good point. I do like keeping things on rings with floss drops. Maybe I wouldn't use that. So we kind of came up with uh, like I said, a slightly different version, right? So here we have it. And I had a bunch of this a um, hundred years ago. I did a bunch of quilts. I still have all kinds of fabric from the quilts. And that's why in um, my first video I said, you know, oh, this project bag is brought to you by crap I found in my closet because <laughs> that's exactly what I did. And, uh, and then it's stitched by my mom is better than your mom because I was just like, hey, mom, this is kind of what I want. Do you think we could rig this? And God bless her, she did. <laughs> so, anyways, 
still sitting here and playing with, there's all kinds of little threads I haven't gotten on this. But anyway, so it looks like your regular doo -doo -doo project bag, right? On one side, but then on the other, we made a big pocket. And in that big pocket, there's a smaller pocket, right? So for your scissors or some needles or well, maybe your threads. And then the bigger pocket in here, like you can see, I have, again, used up a bunch of these like 1920 pattern fabrics. They're really cute. I have a huge stack of them. I'm sure I was going to do something brilliant with them, but this will work. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, the 11 by 11 Q-snap will fit in here, but when you do have it in here, this is a little tight. So I cut out two of these, and she is um, giving this one a little bit more room on this side so you can actually open it up more, get your paw down in there, that type of thing, or store even more goodies. So uh, this is uh, one I'm going to be starting here soon, Plum Street. I love, I've had this one for a couple of years. Blackberry House is the name of this one. Super cute. Got my working copy here. You know, I like to scribble stuff out as I go because I can never seem to figure out where the heck I'm at. And here's a big bunch of the floss. I don't think I've added the ones that I was missing because, you know, I bought them. Some of, some of my haul. So, that's what this is in here. I'll show you when I actually get her started. Maybe on the next video. We'll see. But there's that one. So this is it. There was not a lot of cussing other than a couple times. You know, I was the cutter. I jacked a couple things up. Known to happen. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10 cussing wise, it was probably only a 2 or 3. We did pretty good. Probably because mom did most of the sewing. My sister usually brings home all kinds of sewing projects for mom. And uh, this time she was pretty much doing her own, which, bless her. So I had more of mom labor to myself. It was great. <laughs> so that worked out. Another thing she made, because I keep seeing these cute little thread beds. I'm like, that's brilliant. Because my little stitchy spot right over there, um, it's that wonderful time of the year where I can keep the window open. So you have a couple little threads sitting there because you're switching back and forth between one or two or three little stir threads, especially when you're working on this monster. I'll show you that one. Anyways, nice little spring breeze comes through and <sighs> ugh. So I'm like, hey mom, I got some more scraps here. I have all kinds of felt. <laughs> she made me a couple big ones because I just kind of set it on the whole little table beside the thing and I put my other stuff on top of it but how cute is this fabric you see that those cats almost look a little psychotic yet very cute <laughs> if that says something about me or what but we shouldn't be too surprised and then I had her made a couple little ones to travel with so again just using up some more of that fabric and it being useful here here's the one that was actually underneath there look Doing its job already. Beautiful. I love them. God bless whoever figured that one out. That's a that's a game changer. <laughs> so thread beds, yay! Uh, what other fun things did I do? Well, that was a project bag. Um, I guess that's basically it. We'll go on to I had one new start, uh, and I loved it. I probably stitched more than I should have on this one because I didn't spread the love as much to the others. But it was adorable. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Um, it is Gathering Honey. So I threw my thread around by Plum Street. Sorry for the glare. I'm sure... Plenty of people have seen this one, and the grime guard off because it's kind of distracting. There we go. Got that top little medallion. Some of the words. I'm starting on the along the bottom is a big uh, full coverage little band. 
Very cute though. And again, it's on that cool honeycomb fabric, fabric flare. Is it Hive or something like that? I don't have my card right here in front of me. But uh, love it. Here's my sad, sad little threads that go with that. <laughs> little tore up. I make my own floss drops. A um, hundred years ago, I actually owned a little scrapbook store. Yeah. I go big. When I go into something, I just jump all in. Haven't we already covered that? Yeah. This is not unusual. Anyway, so I have all kinds of leftover um, cardstock and pretty things. And I go ahead and I punch not only the big, oh here, here's some I just made, not only the big um, hole in it for like the main part of the stain, but then another little one. Because, sorry for my big old man hands, um, a small one, because then, the, you know, the working piece, if you're, you know, I, I don't always just pull it all out with a little needle and one or two threads, whatever. I'll just stick it there, or if I have a tiny little bit left, you know, because I'm switching over to a different color, what have you, then I, I can still stick it there and be, try to be frugal. Some days are better than others. But that's what I do. I make my own, just like so many others of you. Not that I wouldn't purchase some if I saw some to, that I just really tickled my fancy. I sure would. But um, just haven't yet. Oh, look. Felix has come to bathe. <laughs> if we listen close and we look closely, we can hear him licking. Yeah, he's the loudest licker. He's interesting. God bless Felix. He's interesting. <laughs> You're sweet, Bobby. You're sweet. Uh, what else is going to my whips next? I guess. Uh, if you remember, on the last video I had showed you the um, Let Freedom Ray that I barely started and I had gotten fabric, the script fabric from Fabric Flare and it was kind of, you know, the way it was cut. The, the uh, lettering was going to go a funky way so I opted to, pooey, called for cat hair. Um, started it close, but there we go. Again, mom for the win. She hooked me up. <laughs> she got the, uh, we did the extension so I can put her on the Q-snap and it actually looks like something. I got a little bit done. A little bit more on that border. Finish that flower up a little bit. Love the colors. That hot pink doesn't do much for it. Kind of with the flower, I guess. <laughs> that's what I did. I did my allotted uh, stitches. Um, again, I started my little, yeah, again, there's only a few colors in this one. Hot Mess Express. Um, I'm thinking about, let's see if anybody else is weird and does this, all of these and just putting them on floss drops. Of course, not the whole thing, but maybe, um, a couple of uh, 18 inch lengths, I don't know, five or six, if you know if it's a, a big, highly used color or not, just to kind of decrease some of the bulk. <laughs> it's getting a little out of control. Um, so I bought something in Mahal that's gonna help me with this. I just obviously haven't gotten around to it yet. But uh, there's that one, uh, Let Freedom Ring with fabric extensions. So, Hopefully we will get some project going on there, or some process going on there. I still can't think. Progress. Heidi, trying to speak. Take three. Sad. Anyways, um, I had started with the my new little stick pick venture, right? With my little whatever project sticks and little goal sticks. So basically I picked one of each. Um, and then I get something like this. So like inspiration, the one I showed you a little bit ago with the 5,000 different colors in very small increments and a crap ton of backstitch. Wowzer. Anyways, um, so like did the, 
pick the project and however many stitches. And as you know, I just scroll them out as I get there. I also use Stitch Pal, the Stitch Pal app. So mainly when I'm out shopping, I can go, man, that's really cute. Do I have it? <laughs> Flip through there quick and see if I have it. Cause in there you can put the name and a picture and um, you can put all kinds of stuff. If you have the fabric and however many colors there are and um, how many stitches there are. So on there, it'll track your progress as you put it in. And you can put in little pictures as you go. So, you know, when you're doing an update on a particular project. I like it. I think I might have paid the $1.99 for the whatever version. But it works for me. So I go by that. So, you know, when you look at a project and it says, like, this one is 311 by 238 stitches. Simply do the math. 311 times 238. That's how many stitches there are. I understand that's just the boxes, but whatever. That's freebies. So, like I'd said, I've said before, if there's three little boxes in that 100 square, or if there's 98 little boxes of stitches in those, or symbols, whatever, stitches in that square, that's 100. As I do 100, boom, mark it off. That's what I do. Um, so, I picked up, what did I do, five? Five different projects and five different goals. I'm down to the last 300 little stitches on my Frosty Forest, and then I'll pick another set and get started. <laughs> but this way, you know, I, I pull out the ones I've already pulled, so this way it'll rotate me through all the projects. And hopefully, keep me motivated, keep me moving. Because sometimes, you know, you get to one or two where you're like, I'm really tired of looking at this one. <laughs> so, oh darn, I'm done. Off to another one. And I even have one of the... Uh, goals in there new start i mean you gotta have gotta have something fun right so there you go there's your excuse oh darn i have to start a new one shucks anyways that is let freedom ring that's my weird little process next up is as i said or have alluded to more than once inspiration what is that that middle part right there is one over one. And I just got to that tiny little border. Oop, that little diamond do floppy border. What's that for a technical term? Anyways. And this is on 32 count moon glow. Two over two. Yep. Pretty much did. Filled this in here. Came on down here, extended the border a little bit. Um, yeah, that's a whole lot of color changing. It's going to be beautiful. I'm really going to look at that someday and go, sure is pretty pretty, but she's no fun to stitch. I mean, unless you like flipping colors a hundred times to each his own. I do and I don't. So, next up is uh, the Edgar Allan Poe tree. Isn't that cute? Gosh, I love this one. Uh, using the Column 4 Stormy Gray by Fabric Flare. There's this one. Did a little detail on the uh, chandelier there. Finish the gravestone of Lenore. Not too bad. That's going to be really cute. I love it. Although, I have uh, the joy of stitching on something dark. That um, has been a bit of a challenge a couple times, but that's okay. Gives me something to complain about, right? The occasional cussing. Uh, next up, I don't know if I have this one or not, oh, here we go, it's Frosty Forest by, was it Cottage, a country cottage, yep, all the cute little teeny houses, we're putting them together, I'm on square number seven, here we go. Look at all that white stitching. 
Looks like Helen Keller did it. It's ridiculous. I think we've already covered how much I love stitching white. Anyway, it's going to be really cute when she's done. I love the fabric. It's going to be neat. Very wintry. Will it match? Might actually clash with these walls. It might land in the other room, but that's all right. She's still pretty. And from five feet away, you can't see the jacked up white stitch stitching. So that's that. Um, plans. Again, kind of went over that. I'm going to use my little, uh, I have to come up with some other thing other than my stick pick. That sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, reminiscent of other things that we don't need to get into. Um, going to use that, you know, pull out another four or five projects, start cycling through them. Um, I have a beach trip coming up. Thank you, Jesus. Um, next Saturday. So, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably see some pictures. Um, didn't get much of my beach trip last year. Uh, made it a whole day before I had to go home. Um, but very much looking forward to this year. We have a semi oceanfront house in Avon, North Carolina this time. And, uh, looking, I don't even care if it rains. I don't care if it's 50 degrees. I mean, it would be nice if it weren't. I'm the type, me and my lady friends that go, uh, you know, the day drinking and the day floating and the pool starts about 10 a.m. Yeah, rolls straight through to about 4. And then we we go get first round of food. <laughs> Seafood. Don't have to cook. Float in the pool all day. Look for shells in the morning. Shells and sea glass in the morning. I mean, that's the life. I guess I need to play the lottery more because... I could get really used to that. Anyways, going to the beach in a couple weeks. So if it does rain, trust me, I will remember my cross stitch. And uh, I will be working on kinds of stuff. So we'll see. So those are my plans. Going to the beach, stitching it up, working on my melanoma, day drinking with the best of them. So um, join us. Look us up. We'll be there. Bring, a, bring an arrow bed. We have room for you. <laughs> I don't mind sharing floor space. Come on. Anyways, on to haul. For me, this is pretty good. Um, actually, it's been a banner couple weeks. Because <laughs> as if this weren't bad enough, again, I called for cat hair. Um, my sister had gotten a freeze dryer and brought along some really awesome snacks. All the good apples and Pears and mangoes and bananas, cheese, zucchini chips, squash. Oh my gosh, they were awesome. So, you know, she twisted my arm. Eh, I went and bought one. So, talk about haul. There it is. I got freeze dryer. Working away right now. Give me some apple chips for work this weekend, maybe. I don't know. Whenever she gets done. Might, might take more than a day or so. Anyway, so, I think uh, comparing that to my cross stitch haul. This is nothing. <laughs> Anyways, God bless my husband. Did I, did I tell you? He's a great little enabler. When I first told him about the freeze dryer, I'm like, hey babe, look what Holly made. These are really awesome because she also had brought freeze dried ice cream sandwiches. They're delicious. Somehow it makes more flavor. I don't know. It's really impressive. But they, they look like teeny tiny. I tried it. Sliced my thumb up yesterday. Teeny tiny little chopped up ice cream sandwiches. They taste awesome. So, you know, I had him hooked with, I was like, oh, hey, I found a, a banana pudding bite recipe. He was all over it. <laughs> that's, what, that's what lured him in. He's like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> something else to play with because I have a lot of free time. And now I'm just rambling. Let's get to the haul. So I started with, um, like I was talking about earlier, I wanted to start doing floss drops for some of my DMC stuff to kind of get rid of some of the bulk. So, um, I had seen several people mention uh, these little bad boys on um, various other floss tubes. And it's Mr. Woodworkski on Instagram. I got one of his um, measured floss winders. I'm sure it has a better name than that, but 
you go on his uh, website, go to his Instagram, through his website through there, or however he actually has it done, because now, of course, I can't remember. Uh, you can choose any kind, all kinds of interesting wood, um, and pretty much any kind of stain you want. There's different sizes of these. Um, he also has, uh, he has uh, stuff for quilters and the little, look at this, little scissor do floppy. I'm, I'm just loaded with technical terms today. Yeah, anyways, and you could choose the wood that you wanted. So I live on a Hickory Drive, and I have a lot of black walnut on this property. So here we go, Hickory and black walnut. And he had two different types of, um, you know, whether you wanted the grooves or not. All kinds of fun stuff to choose from. Check them out. Reasonably, reasonably priced and pretty quick, even though I don't know if this was in, you know, stock or not. But I think I got it within six, seven days. So, works for me. And I didn't have one. I have two stitchy spots. My main stitchy spot is in this room. And when I was in Columbus, I found... Found one there too. Ta da! I'm dropping everything out. It has a little bit of felt on the bottom. It has holes around the sides. So I stuck some of my little stuff in there. Some of my other haul that I got. Um, so where mom lives, you know, there's like the main Amish area in Ohio, which is Holmes County, which is about two hours from mom's house. But there's another smaller Amish community, maybe 30 minutes away outside of Willard, Ohio, more north central. And um, they, this place called Shiloh, or the area is Shiloh. There's a little town of Shiloh, but everything's kind of technically outside of it. And like any self-respecting Amish area, they have bulk food store slash deli grocery and amazing quilt store. Um, a really cool hardware store. And I knew that for us this year was, I mean, they have a bunch of, it's Ohio. There are um, like little farmer's markets at everybody's farm. You know, <laughs> you know, hey, here's my farm. My giant, however many acre farm. But out front, I've either got a smaller barn or a shed or whatever. Sometimes it's just a stand, like a little lean-to with fresh goodies out, depending on whatever season. So all kinds of those in the area. But this was a tried and true big old nursery that I had to be new. It was called Luray, L-U hyphen R-A-Y. And it was amazing. <laughs> it was huge. It had just... All kinds of beautiful planners and gadgets and gizmos and whatever. Check it out. Anywhere near Shiloh, Ohio. All kinds of fun stuff there. But they're at the uh, craft store, the, not craft store, but they do have some crafts um, at their quilt store. Again, a, a huge amount of fabric. And they have a nice size section of kitchen goodies and sewing notions and whatnot. So again, found some of these little guys you know, um, that we use to keep the fabric kind of out of the way, uh, like 59 cents each, you know, found a hand, three of these, and they're just little spring loaded scissors, like two bucks, you never know what you're going to find there, but it's always something interesting, so I figured, you know, with, since it has a guard on it, I don't feel so bad about sticking it in a project bag, found some of those, Again, along with my little gizmo. I'm sure it has a better name. Whatever. Scissor box. <laughs> How's that? Scissor box. Um, also, I got lured into Instagram. That doesn't take much. And there are lovely little ads. You know, I'm a sucker for it. So there is this little company. Maybe you all have seen it. Taperlogy? Taperlogy? I don't know. But they have really cool like journaling stuff. These are little rub-on flowers. thought these would be cool if you made your own floss drops, right? Basically both the same thing. And then they had 
other little, I don't know if these are actual stickers or not. I haven't totally torn these apart to look at them. Cute little tag things, again. And then, something I haven't looked at yet, because it was all wrapped up so nice. I think this is like a journaling, kind of a grab bag. Not doing the best at selling their goodies, but you know, I'm sure you've seen it on the old Instagram. Yikes. All kinds of goodies shoved up in there. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, so journaling stuff. Little papers. There's some others. Honestly, you can make bigger floss drops out of those if you put some cardstock on them. Because this is just regular size or weight paper there. I'll put that one. That one's pretty. Some of those. These are kind of cool. Flower language. Lavender. Who doesn't love lavender? Oh, my favorite flower ever. I love the Annabella. Oh, look, little. These library card type things. Again, mainly just journaling stuff. You know, different colors. Ooh, yikes. These are actual stickers. Again, all flower stuff. So, something to play with in my free time when I'm dead. <laughs> but again, I was like, what? Shut up and take my money. Oh, look at these clear little gizmos. These are kind of cool. Some vellum stuff. Keeps going. There's all kinds of little things tucked up in here. That's kind of cool. Anyways, fun stuff to play with. Someday. There's that. So what's next? I think we're on to the actual cross stitch doors. What? Finally? I know. I know. I know I'm slow. All right. I saw this little thing. And I kept coming back to it. Pardon me. It's kind of an itchy nose. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry. Distracted. Something shiny. I was looking for the... Um, Floss for some of these, so that's a lot of what you're gonna see. I got that one and the one in here that I there's a bunch of them in here I love. This is of course Blackbird Design Sisters. I really like this Christmas one. Isn't that pretty? It's a little windy out there. Um, so I was looking for floss for those. I really like this one too. Sucker for Halloween. Sucker for anything, really. Uh, so that is a lot of what these are. So again, between the two stores, I lighten their floss load a little bit. Yes, ma'am. And they were happy to help me pick out my list. They're <laughs> like, can I help you? Absolutely. Here. <laughs> Here's a list of stuff I need. Anyways, I kept coming back to this. It's a pretty little lacy cottage sampler by Rosewood Manor. And you know, the, like so many things, the picture just doesn't really do it justice. There's another designs on the back. This is cute. I love purples. So then I started looking at the actual colors. 
Look at those colors. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I can do it any justice. All oh, those beautiful blues, greens, purples. I'm like, does that look like this? No. This is what sold me on this. I liked it, but I mean, that's going to be really pretty. So anyways, got that. All the call to four thread. And what did we end up doing here? Heirloom. That's what this is. Heirloom by Needle Bling. It's going to be pretty. Open up all that new start stick twice <laughs> for Blackbird and for this one. So, uh, yeah, there you go. One of my random project bags. Wrap I have in my closet. Okay. Ooh. It's got some weight to it. Okay, in no particular order, because of course. I had to pull them out of their bags and ooh and ah and you know pet everything like my precious. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So I keep seeing everybody else's. I'm a sucker for nautical, and you know I can pick out a Plum Street from 50 paces. You've seen it a hundred times. Live on little. And what did I end up going with? I think I bought. Finally found me some country mocha. Oh yeah. Like one of the most popular lemons ever, right? I'm gonna use that on a couple of these. And then this, I think this and uh, the other one, the heirloom, I think that's what it is. I bought a couple big like fat halves. I'm like I'm gonna knock out some of these that I don't have the fabric for. So that's what that is. That's a whole, that's almost a hade right there, isn't it? With that full coverage. But I figure maybe I'll start that and be ready for, um, I do have a retreat I'm going to down in Myrtle Beach in October. Uh, uh, barefoot needlework, I believe. Needle, probably saying that wrong. Anyways, <laughs> like, uh, like everybody says, some of these fill-ins might be good, might be good uh, retreat work. But, so I got me that. Got me a big fat piece of country milk. Cause she's like, oh, here's this one. I was like, oh, is that country milk? I hear all about it. Put it in the pile. All right, we have Little House Needleworks months of the year. Aren't they cute? My goodness, did you hear my stomach? Stomach rumbling. Uh, obviously, that's just a computer-generated picture, I'm sure. You know, I understand why people have to go with that. You know, you're up against a deadline, whatever. So, um, I think they were really cute, actually, stitched. I like, I like little houses. Who doesn't? I keep seeing this. Ever since I saw this one, did it just come out market? Yeah, I think so. Shannon Christine. Morning Glory. Absolutely stunning. What a beautiful picture. What a beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, I think it's not Country Mocha. That is something else. What is that? Newcastle. Raw. 40 count. That's what that is. Picture's doing a fairly decent justice to it. Thought that would be cool for a nice, really make that white pop. White. Mm, stand by. I'll be pulling my hair out for that one. Ah, uh, the primitive hair. Spooky countdown. I mean, this checks all the boxes too. Oh, look at that. This is uh, a few years old, 2013. Still adorable. <laughs> and hey, six, seven. Yeah, seven DMC colors. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
I'll take it. Oh yeah, I found a cookbook. There's so many cute little smalls in here, not gonna lie. Sambri Stitches, the little Bigfoot with the chef hat on. <laughs> I'd show you, but it's just the pattern, so that's a no-no. Adorable. Cute, cute stuff. So when I first walked into, um, across my heart, right inside the door, it is the first thing I saw. So y'all remember my first video and I showed you a picture of my fancy lady? Um, yeah. It's a Mirabilia. Look at her. This is Emerald Mermaid. Picture doesn't know justice. Absolutely stunning. Those beads. Ugh. Mm. Like I needed another one of those. But anyways, moving right along. Souvenirs of the Heart Star Spangles Spectacular. With thy needle and thread. Thank you, Brenda. Keep them coming. Like there are already 5,000 of these. Patriotic. Little house. Bird. Winner. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Speaking of blackbird, or I should say bird, let's keep with our uh, needle and thread. I had to have her robins. Everybody and their brothers doing this one. Don't care. I will too. And my home sweet home. My Miss Brenda. And then, you know, I've never seen these. By Blackbird Designs, the Garden Club series. They didn't have all of them. So I will be on the hunt. But this is, uh, let's see what they have. Like the one where they have, you're supposed to do them on all the different kinds of linen and then put them together. You know, I like the look. But I would think trying to sew that many interesting pieces of linen together would be problematic for someone who sews half-assed like I do. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to keep them as smalls. Like I have, a, I've already gone over that I have a million frames. So maybe I'll just do a little, or maybe I'll just all together, just stitch it all in one piece. We'll see. Or maybe just do little plaques, finished plaques with them. I'm not certain, but they are adorable. So here's Honey Bee climbing the trellis. The rarest flower. Someone else was doing these recently. Salt box stitcher? Carol, I think, had done one or two. I think I just watched her the other night. She was talking about them. I was like, oh, hey, I got those too. Which one was that? Tulip and Lily. The Gardener. This one might actually be... Maybe I'll do that as a gift for a friend of mine. She's a big gardener. And all in a row. That's adorable. Love those colors. Oh, Blackbird. Very Blackbird colors. What else do we have in the bag? It is getting a little lighter. We're down to the last few. Amazingly enough, I've seen this one a lot, but I saw it and had to have it. Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery Summer Garden at Cranberry Manor. It's just so delicate. I don't know. Gorgeous border. Love those little do floppies. What do you want to call those? Flowers. Words are my friend today. Disregard. <laughs> and then back to Brenda. When was this one done? Let's see if we have a year. 2021. Okay, a couple years ago. Jack o' Lantern Jubilee by Brenda Gervais. Look at those. Cute. And on the back, go 
ghosts and goblins. Little kitty cat. So, oh wait, no. Oh wait, no, that's the same one. That's a close look at that bird. <laughs> that's adorable. Sparkling candy corn cookies. I'd try it. Yep, looks like those are. Yep, nope. Yeah, how they just hide little patterns and all of those. Very cute. Very Brenda. Beautiful. So, I believe that's all my haul. I did not go to Finley, mainly because it ran out of time, but again, oh, it's always August. I'm going to go home again in August. Maybe I'll go see Miss Paula then and uh, spend some money. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> um, all right. So, last but not least, I figured I'd do a giveaway. I'm overdue. I made it to number three. I made it over 500 subscribers. God bless every single one of you. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. Never in a bajillion years did I think. Seriously, more than 10 people would watch this. So I um, figured the least I could do is uh, a little giveaway. So uh, basically, you know, I couldn't really decide anything that I was looking at. I'm like, man, do I just give away some floss? Everybody always needs floss. Maybe I should get a gift card. And then I thought, you know, a lot of people are always looking for unicorn patterns or some of the more retro stuff. And I got a lot of comments on my um, uh, historical sampler that I had done way back when. I can't believe Felix has slept through this whole thing. Anyways, um, so I had a couple patterns of those that I know I am never going to get to. And so share the love. If anybody out there is interested... Um, we will go through, I have three to give away. Again, we all know the rules. You can't use, uh, can't use the bad words of, you know, freebie, give, give away, blah, 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 or the evil people swoop in like flying monkeys. And yeah, nobody wants to see that. So, um, first up is Little House Needleworks Spot of Coffee. Now I'll warn you, this is a small picture See if I can get in there so you can actually see it. Coffee by the candle light. I can't read that backwards. Warms a heart into the night. I thought that was cute. I like the little border. So if you are interested in spot of coffee, the word is coffee. Let me write this down before I forget. That would be my luck. We see how I've been doing with words today. So, next one up, a historical sampler company. It is called Kind Hearts Sampler. Date on here is 2003, so we're going back a couple days. And I've seen, I mean, it's a nice saying. Kind hearts are the gardens, kind thoughts are the roots, kind words are the flowers, kind deeds are the fruits. Man, I like their big flower borders. Pretty colors. Yeah, I believe it's all DMC. Yes, DMC. If you're interested in this one, uh, hearts. Hearts for that one. Use the word hearts. And last... But not least, Bygone Stitches from 2012 for the birds. Not the best picture, but pretty. If you're interested in this one, use the word birds. And then on the next video, I will have, I'll pick winners. And we will get y'all some goodies. Again, thank you so much for um, sticking with me for this video and 
perhaps all three that I've put out so far. I really appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun with this. It's been really cool. Um, next time around, like I said, probably have at least one, if not two new starts. And um, if it's rainy at the beach, I bet you I'll have a finish. <laughs> I bet you that Poe piece will get finished if I get rained in at the beach. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram and you want to see beautiful pictures of the beach and live vicariously through me for a week starting on the 29th, uh, you can follow me at Potty Mouth Stitcher there. Um, otherwise, like and subscribe here. Do all the things. I certainly appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me. I hope you got some good stitching done while you were listening to me run on and show you all my good stuff. I appreciate it, y'all. Have a great day. Bye now.